Let's take a closer look at how we can add or embed content in our class notebook inside Microsoft Teams. We can add or embed a range of content from Word documents, Excel workbooks and spreadsheets, PDFs, YouTube videos, and other Office 365 content such as Microsoft Forms and Sways. We can add this content inside our collaborations space or inside our content library. Now keep in mind the difference between the two. Our collaboration space is open to all students collaborating. So any sections that we create or any pages we create inside the collaboration space, students can add, delete, edit, any of the content that's put in there. Whereas in the content library, this is a place for materials where we don't want students to edit. Only the teacher can put materials inside the content library and students can only read or make copies of uh, content from the content library into their own notebooks, but they can't edit or delete the content that you put in here. So let's go ahead and um, add some content. So I'm going to start in my first section on my first page. Uh, so this is unit one, the dark ages. So I'm going to add a PDF copy of notes for my students. So I'm simply going to give my page a title and I'm going to click underneath in the workspace or on the page and uh, I could attach the file and then the students would only see a little file icon for the notes or I can actually click file printout and I'll show you what that does. Notice for a file printout you have to select a Word or PDF document so I'll go ahead and choose my file and I want this particular file right here. So I select it and click open and then go ahead and click insert. We'll give it a minute to load. Notice that it does put the file icon here at the top, but underneath it gives me a printout of that PDF. All right, let's go ahead and expand the view of my notebook. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new page. I give my page a title, and this time I'm going to insert a YouTube video. To embed the YouTube video that I want to share with my students, I can simply go to YouTube and find the video, highlight the URL or the link to the video, Control C to copy it, go back to my page, and press Control V to paste that link in. And when I hit enter, it's going to embed a copy of that YouTube video right onto my page. Note that I can also add content by simply, let's create a new page. I'll call it the life of a night. And I can simply just click on the page and type notes in for my students. As I mentioned earlier, you can also embed a Microsoft form for a quiz or a unit exam in your OneNote class notebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new page and we'll give this page the title of the Dark Ages Quiz. I'll just click below that in the workspace and now I can click um, inside the insert tab in the toolbar I can click on forms this will open a window to the far right and notice that I can um, create a brand new form or a new quiz uh, or I can select a quiz that I've previously created in Microsoft Forms so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and insert uh, this Dark Ages quiz that I've previously created. If I was building a new quiz, I would just simply click New Quiz and I'd be redirected to the Microsoft Forms app to go ahead and create that quiz. So let's just insert this quiz here. So I'll click the Insert button and it adds the link to the form and embeds the form below. Students can take this form and then submit once I've distributed it to them. I'll show you how to do that in a later video.